guys. So it's 4th of July and I wanted to celebrate my 4th of July day by putting my opinion out there about the passing away of a certain fitness influencer whom I'm not going to name drop specifically just because I don't want to use his passing away for views, which I think is kind of scummy. I'm not going to just try to, what's the trending topic on YouTube so I can win with the algorithm? No. And I feel like there's this pattern I'm seeing here where there's a culmination of factors and it's not just any one particular thing that led to their passing away. And I'm going to start off with Ziz. Okay. Ziz is like the essential aesthetics bra. He was like almost essentially the pioneer of the movement, right? This, this guy from Australia who looked shredded and was going to clubs and he was living that, that lifestyle that I think a lot of men would envy getting girls. He was blasting PEDs and taking ecstasy and, and doing all these different things along with a pre-existing heart condition, mind you. I think that ended up leading to his passing away in some random spa in Thailand when he was actually, I think, about to mature and get his life turning around for the better. And unfortunately, it caught up with him. Next, Scott Murray. All right, beautiful Irishman. Again, very aesthetic. Was shredded all the time. But behind the scenes, behind all the content that he was putting out there that he did alone because he didn't have editors and stuff. Okay, so we are doing a bit of work. And yes, this is pretty much my life, okay, if I'm not recording. So first of all, I want to say, yes, I know I look like complete rubbish, right? When you train every single day for like two hours, do a load of steps, get like four hours sleep, you have no team to support you, and everything is being done just by you. He was getting very little sleep because he was doing all of that. Like, I think most people know how impactful sleep is on quality of life, but I'm not sure people understand, like, the actual ramifications on high blood pressure. Hours or less can significantly impact your heart rate variability and your ability to modulate blood pressure. You are in a more heightened state of stress, essentially. Keeping a very low body fat percentage, which affects your hormones, it affects your quality of life in general. Your body's not made to be shredded all the time it's one thing if you're being shredded before a competition you put your weight back on afterward but this guy was like constantly shredded he was do hours of cardio you rely on caffeine for energy you're peeing all the time your workouts suck you're cold all the time more caffeine you watch calorie challenges all day more caffeine you have to bring a cushion everywhere you go drink sugar-free soda by the liter or even worse start drinking walden farms more caffeine you chew sugar-free gum like it's your job you live in the shops looking at all the foods you can't have more caffeine you can't sleep you spend three hours making high volume meals more caffeine you get turned on by oats actually no you don't because you have zero testosterone so go get a check link down below. You want to binge on chocolate. You need 100 bags of spinach just to get full. No amount of pre-workout will give you a pump. You dread walking upstairs. He would eat ridiculously large portions of food that he would have to do all this work and, and supplemental cardio just to maintain his body fat percentage, which wasn't helping him feel good anyway. And having low energy because of it, he starts slamming energy drinks so that he can have enough energy to get through the day. And now you got all this extra caffeine affecting your nervous system, the lack of rest, the low body fat and, and everything else. I think it just all caught up with him and he passed away. Next, now Joe Linder. Now I will drop the name that everybody is talking about right now. I wanted to make him last because he's the most recent. I know that this guy got the poke four times. The vax. I, I got the vax. Did you really? Yeah. Oh. Even four. Really? Why? Yeah, I know. So, bro, you know how it is. It's the same like you go to a party. You were worried about your heart? And you are with the wrong people. All of a sudden, you might do something on this party that you don't want to do because there's these people like, you know, you, you should do it. <laughs> Dude, fuck. I was there and my friends said like, if we can get it, you should get it, man. And I'm like, you, you got peer pressure into the vax? Yeah, kind is of. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> <laughs> Think about it later and I'm like, what did I do, man? But the doctor and I did my blood work again because I checked my blood work all the time. And then I showed it to the doctor and we kind of see these particles and i'm like what is this and then they no say, way this is, this is shut from, the fuck up this is from this and i'm like oh my god i think we can all intuit with our common sense that it was experimental it was government mandated and a lot of people profited off of it in high places myocarditis i don't know for sure but i believe it was said that he had a pre-existing neurological disorder and was consuming four liters of coffee a day which is a diuretic which helps you to get dehydrated so now you got to combat the effects of dehydration as well as probably crapping a lot because of the diuretic effects of the coffee and just the ridiculous amounts of caffeine affecting your brain and throwing off your your nervous system which mind you it doesn't just aid in contracting muscle it also looks over other functions like your heartbeat it has a lot of different things that it has control over like everything involved with your nervous system is it's it's, it's ridiculous and blasting peds uh, on top of that like it's a culmination of things it's not just any one thing I think that led to the demise of these fitness influencers. I think that in general, we need to be more mindful about how much caffeine we're consuming, how much sleep we're getting and, and not 
get body dysmorphia and worry about being shredded all the time. We need to worry about being healthy. Granted, like I am not the epitome of health. I don't look like one of these fitness influencers and getting professional made reels and, and cameramen taking shots of them and posting it up there. And not that I'm hating, like I would love to be out of that lifestyle if I could, but I'm not gonna do it at the expense of my health. I'm not gonna start blasting PEDs. I wanna remain natural. I wanna have a long quality of life. I don't, I don't care how much money I can make off of a, a stupid endorsement from any particular company. I want to be healthy. That is my primary goal. It, it, it's like everything in moderation, right? If you're if you're taking so much caffeine, you're getting such little rest and, and all these different factors, the, the low body fat and just all this extra work in order to maintain this image that you're trying to present to people, it, it probably screws with you mentally too. And there are things that, that happen within your body that can just arise from your mental state, you know, with stress and everything else. It, it, it just adds up and it, it takes away from your quality of life and it leads to an early demise. It's not worth it. I think Joe Lindell was like relatively a pretty happy guy, but I, I imagine he got enough sleep, but four liters of coffee a day, like I think your body realistically can process anywhere from like two to 400 milligrams a day. So I don't know how much he was getting. And if he was taking like pre-workout on top of that, God only knows, but he's now gone. Basically my message for this video is just like, be careful about every little thing that you're doing. All right, some of you may want to get big and, and bulk up and, and, and look great, but just don't sacrifice your quality of life and, and don't overdo any one particular thing. Try to have balance in all things. All right, stay alive out there, stay healthy, and I hope you all have a great 4th of July. Later.